I teach a class in pop-up books, and uh, we start out with uh, doing 30 mechanisms from the uh, elements of pop-up. That way, uh, students get a chance to uh, work with a paper stock, understand what uh, uh, the folding uh, mechanisms have to look like and feel like in order for them to uh, work properly. We, uh, we start off with those uh, mechanisms as the, uh, the basis for continued learning. What we do then is uh, create a greeting card, then we move on to creating one spread for an actual pop-up book. Now, uh, one of the problems that, uh, that occurs is that it takes a tremendous amount of time to create uh, a pop-up mechanism of any sort and make it actually work. Uh, one of the things that, uh, that happens here is that the mechanism might open, it might pop up uh, easily, but then you know, it doesn't fold back down the way it should. That's uh, the main challenge for students is to uh, create a piece that not only opens correctly, but is also uh, going to close correctly as well. You know, I also have a few things here that, that I've done in the past that um, is kind of like a proposed book. It's something that, uh, that I'm doing kind of on again, off again. It takes so much time, uh, concentrated effort that uh, you kind of get burned out. One person working on a project. The books that uh, that we showed previously mm -hmm. uh, are usually done by studios of um, paper engineers, illustrators, designers, and uh, they can take anywhere from eight months to uh, well over a year to produce just one book. And generally the number of spreads in a book is uh, anywhere from four to six. And so uh, a number of people are working on each of these spreads at one time uh, in a commercial setting. In my case, it's just me. So it's, it takes a considerable longer uh, period of time in order to uh, do those. So what I want to show you here is it's sort of inspired by my time spent in Montana. I have children that live out there and uh, I'm outdoors a lot and uh, I'm a fly fisherman and I spend a lot of time in really beautiful places. This is, this is one that you can see it's all kind of nasty. It's all pieces that are uh, uh, put together with uh, tape and um, you know they're cut very roughly but here's an eagle that is flying in to feed its young. It's, it's a little on the hard side but you can see it pops right. But this is a, a very rough um, uh, preliminary mechanism where there's a tremendous amount of uh, trial and error. This one spread that you see here probably took uh, about four weeks of, of work in order to get it to this point. So um, we kind of move ahead here to some of the uh, different steps. I've gone into uh, a little, well, quite a bit tighter um, finished mechanism here that um, would be a test for um, the eagle that you saw previously. So that, that opens and closes very nicely. So then we take that another step further, do all the illustrations. Um, the mechanism works pretty well. It opens and closes fairly well. Oh, beautiful. Uh, and uh, so now we have a spread that, that sort of looks like one of the commercially produced pop-ups. And look at that, it even closes up. <laughs> so this is kind of a, a more finished version. And everything is in position. And I even have a little text right here. <laughs> 
closes up nicely, and there you have it. There's a tremendous variety of books, all different subject matter. And that, I think that's really what appeals to me right now. You know, um, back mm, before maybe the, the 80s, they were basically children's books. Um, and now with uh, Sabuda and Reinhardt getting into creating very, very complex books, you know what, it really appeals to uh, a huge uh, audience. You know, not only children, but adults. There's a tremendous number of uh, hours that go into assembling these books. Each and every pop-up book that's on the market today has been produced by hand. It's been assembled by hand. The, um, the images are all mass-produced, uh, printed on um, you know, high-quality lithographic presses, and the pieces are die-cut on commercial presses. But all the pieces have to be um, assembled by hand. No machine can, can do that. So that's, that's the other thing that really intrigues me about awesome. this. If you have the opportunity, take my class.